lovelies, let's start crafting and make it till our eyes smile, I like to say. I'm going to begin by using these wood rounds from BB Craft. They're pretty thick. They're actually plant stands. You put your potted plants on there, but I'm going to use them for the bottom of my gnome. Now I'm going to be using this Dollar Tree stocking. You can use any sock you want, new, old, whichever one. You're not going to see the stocking when we're done with our gnome. So it's not going to matter. So grab a sock. <laughs> so you, if you don't have the wood round, you can also use a lid to a jar or also you can use some cardboard, poster board, just something on the bottom inside the stocking. And that gives it like a nice firm base for your gnome when it's standing. You want to make sure it's flat. Now I'm going to take this cup, any cup, it just makes it easier when you're going to fill it up with your sand, rice, you can use pinto beans. I'm going to use these little gravel rocks and from the Dollar Tree. I'm just going to put maybe a fourth of a cup in there. Not very much, it's just a little bit, just so it has some weight. Now, if you feel you have too much, don't worry. All you gotta do is pour a little bit back out until you're happy with how it feels the way you want it to be. And easy as that. Now again, I like to use this cotton. I get this on clearance at stores after Christmas. It's one of those, you know, tree skirts, cotton. And I like to use those for fillers, but if you use pillow, you have old stuffed animals, Anything you have, just go ahead and fill it with cotton inside your stocking. After you have it to the size you want it, you want it in the shape of like a really big potato. <laughs> potato, potato. <laughs> but that's what you want it to be, is like a big potato. I got a piece of yarn string that I got from the Dollar Tree and all I'm going to do is wrap it twice around the top, tie it in a knot, and then pull down and stretch and then tie it really tight. And I double knot it. If you don't want to use yarn, you can also use those little rubber bands. They're really tiny little bands to wrap around and use that also. But I like to use a string. I don't know, to me it makes it more where it's gonna stay longer. You know, it's not going to uh, age as much as a rubber band will soften and age. But I really love the way this comes out. Watch this. We're gonna get regular fabric. And all I'm gonna do, because it's, do it by the size of your body of your gnome, that's how much fabric you're going to use because everybody likes their gnomes either to be small, large, you can make it medium. So whatever your heart desires and what size you want, that's the, the size you go by your material. I hope that makes sense. I got my material from Walmart and it is so cute. It has little strawberries on it, little berries. And all I did, as you can tell, is I just wrapped it around my little potato body and then I grabbed it on the top, tightly pull, and then I just double knotted it. I wrapped my yarn twice around it, pulled it tight, and double knot. Now I'm just gonna cut some of the excess off on the top, and there we have it. Now it kinda looks like a pineapple, right? <laughs> I don't cut the stocking, I leave the stocking neck because it helps fill up my little hat when I'm gonna add the hat onto the gnome. Now for the nose, you can use all kinds of little things. And I got this styrofoam ball, they're different sizes, and I get these at the Dollar Tree. And I some people paint them or use felt. I mean, there's so many ways you can make a nose, but I chose to use a styrofoam ball. And all I did was put a nylon around it, a little knee-high nylon. And 
I got those at Dollar Tree, by the way. And I just pull on it, wrap the string yarn around that one twice, and then tied it in a double knot. Cut the excess off, but I want my string to be able to tie around the neck. See the top and the neck of the body. And that's how I added my nose. You can paint it also. You don't have to put the nylon. You can just paint it. It's however you want. That's what's so wonderful when you are crafting is use your imagination. I hope I can inspire you and create things which you have around your home. Easy as that sometimes, right? So now I'm getting some more of that fabric. And it's not the little berry one. I'm going to get some scrap fabric that I had on hand. And I'm just going to fold it in half. And look how I did that. I just went from a point all the way down for the hat. Make it kind of like a triangle. I'm going to fold it over. And I just put a bead all the way down. Beads of glue all the way down. And fold it right over. No sewing. I love it. So now we're going to take our hat and we're going to now turn it inside out. Well, right side, right? Mm, inside out. I don't know. You know what I mean. You see. <laughs> I know I'm crazy sometimes. But you know what I mean. So I'm going to get a pin because that little top part was a little being a little stubborn. So um, I had to push that little top part out and I was trying not to cut it but yeah get a pin or use your scissors whatever and push it so the little pointy part of your hat comes out <laughs> so now just make sure that it's gonna fit and you want your seam of your hat to line up with your nose Make sure it's going to fit to the back and to the front to the nose. Now I'm just trimming the bottom and I'm making sure I go in a little bit of an angle. I want the back part of the hat to be longer than the front part. And you just adjust it to the way you want it. So now we're going to stuff the hat and all I did was I wanted to make sure that some of that cotton goes right to the tip of the hat because you want it a little stiff if you're going to add some embellishments or something on your hat on the, the tip of it. And then I just make sure that I add a little bit more. You can add as much as you want to your hat to see, you know, how you want it to set on your gnome head. Do you want it to sit straight up or did you want it to bend? If you want it to fold older, over, older, <laughs> I can't even talk. If you want it to fold over, just put some cotton on the very top and the tip and on in there. And then you add a little bit more, but you're going to leave like a little space so you can just fold it over and it won't be so hard to fold with the cotton. See that? Now the seam, you do want the seam to match with the nose so you look at the where the nose is at and that's where you want your seam in the back so I'm just gonna pull down and I'm gonna put some glue now that I'm happy with where the hat is and I just hold it down for a few seconds press down and then I turn it around I'm gonna fold a little bit underneath just so it has like a really nice clean edging put a little bit of glue around the nose where I want the fabric to stay and there you have it I did not glue all the way around yet because we're going to add some little braids I'm going to take this Dollar Tree mop head and I'm only going to use yep six mop strings just six of them. I'm going to cut it to the very edge of the top of that mop. 
and I'm just going to get a piece of that yarn and I'm going to double knot it very tight, th three of them, three of them together and you tie double knots. Can you imagine how many gnomes we can make out of that mop head? Because <laughs> we only use six of them for a little girl gnome. Yep, we're making a little girl gnome. Now I'm just gonna unravel it, see? And it gives her, it goes, right? It goes a long way. It gives her like a full ponytail. You can braid it, you can leave it the way it is, or like do like what I did. We're just gonna pull it together, glue them underneath the hat next to the nose, and then we glue the hat right on top. And now we're gonna do the other side the same way. Tuck it under the hat next to the nose. And then we glue the hat in place. Oh, she's so cute already. So you just add the glue where you want it to, the hat to lay. Now I'm gonna get some of that yarn and I'm just gonna double knot just the bottom of the little ponytail. And then I'm just gonna trim it and I'm gonna do that to both ponytails. Now this ribbon I did get at Walmart and it's so pretty because it has like a real pretty soft blush satin center and then it has like that like I don't know it's like a see-through ribbon really pretty like a ruffle and I thought it would look so cute on her little braids. So we're going to glue it right around that string area. So you don't see the white string holding the braid, you're going to see the little pink ribbon. Yep, we are making a shabby-licious little gnome. Now, these little beautiful satin bows I do get also at Walmart, and I thought that would be a cute little touch with a little ribbon. It has a little pearl in the center. And I just glued those right there in the center of those pretty ribbons see now I'm gonna add a little bit of this lace and I did get this at BB craft and I'll leave all the links for BB craft that I use in Panda haul inside my description box for you with the links but I'm just gonna add that right there around my gnome isn't that beautiful lace? Oh, I just absolutely love it. And I put the bead of glue right there on the top of the lace where the little strip is. So it has enough where the glue will stick. And then I'm just going to trim the bottom. Now this here is so beautiful. I got this from Totally Dazzled. I will also leave that link in my description box for you. Oh, beautiful, beautiful bling. It's a shabby licious gnome. She has to have some bling, right? <laughs> and I put that in the center on her belly, like her chest, her belly. And now I'm getting some more of this fabric and you've seen me just fold it over. I cut a little piece, fold it over. I'm gonna put a bead of glue right there on the edge on one side. And then I'm just gonna fold it right over. And I'm gonna cut the little bit of the excess off. And 
These are going to be little arms. You make them to as wide and puffy as you want your arms to be for your little gnomes. So it's whatever size you want to do. And then I'm just going to have it, it's going to be like a little tube. And I'm just going to add some cotton right inside each little arm. I'm going to take one of my little glue sticks and I'm just going to push that right in there. I rolled the cotton between my hands. It kind of, kind of makes it a little easier going in. And then I just get the glue stick and then push it down. Then I'm going to get a little bit of glue and put it right there in the top of one of the sides and then I'm just going to pinch it shut. I put a little bit of more glue and tuck it right under the hat next to the hair. Now it's time to glue that side of the hat. Careful because it does get hot. Now I can close the whole side up on that side and then I'll repeat and do to the other side. So we're just repeating another arm for the other side and make sure that the seam, I didn't say it the last arm, so I'm saying on this arm, sorry, the seam of where you glued it, if it's sticking out too much, you can trim it or you can put some glue right there and then fold it on down and it'll stay down. And then when you glue your arm, you put it to the top on the inside, pinch, and then you put a little bit of glue and you put the seam towards the body so you don't see that seam on your gnome. The seam will be facing towards the body. And now we can glue it completely shut, the hat. Now I'm going to get some little bit of fabric and I cut them in squares. And I'm just going to put it right there on the tip of the arm and gather it. I'm just going to wrap it around the arm, gather it up on top, and then see how I'm just going to tight real tight a piece of yarn and then I'm gonna double knot it they're like little mittens aren't they cute oh, I love them so cute and then now I'm gonna just trim the excess of it you can leave it like that if you like if you wanted to have a ruffle or you can trim it like I do and put some embellishments around it I'm going to use that same ribbon that we put around our little girl's ponytails. And we're going to put that right there like a little cuff around our little mitten, our little hands. Thank you. 
I'm gonna add some more of those cute little bows with the little pearls in the center, in the center of each cuff. See that? Oh, isn't that adorable? And now we're gonna do the other side. Now I'm gonna get that same ribbon and I'm gonna put a little bit of glue and I'm gonna start putting it just on the rim of our little hat. Oh, what a beautiful touch, isn't it? And I'm gonna put it all the way around. And I always stop where the seams are, one seam. Now these cute little pearls, they're all different little size pearls on a little string. And I got this at Dollar Tree. I thought they were very cute, very dainty. And I'm going to wrap that around our hat. So I'm just gonna glue it right there on top of the little bow. Yes, I did add a little bow to the tip of my hat. And I just did it in a regular cute little shoe tie bow. And now I'm just gonna glue where the big pearls are. I'm gluing them onto the hat and I'm just wrapping it around any way. It doesn't have to be perfect. I just thought that bow was just a cute touch to the tip of the hat. You can put a puff ball pom pom, you can put a bell. And now I'm going to put one of these beautiful buttons that I get in a pack from Walmart right on top of that bow. These little rosettes I get from Walmart and they come in assortment colors and variety pack. And I absolutely love using these. Very shabby, delicious, beautiful. And all I'm going to do is just pick different colors and put them in different spots of the hat.
So now I'm just going to get some lace ribbon and I'm just going to wrap it around my fingers a couple times and then I get some of that yarn and I'm just going to double knot it right in the center. I really think it'd be a really cute touch and glue it to the back of my gnome. I'm going to grab one of those cute little bows with the little pearl and I'm going to put it right there in the center of that bow also. Oh my goodness, I am absolutely in love with the way she turned out. Is she not shabby-licious? Oh, beautiful. She is so stunning. Oh, love it. I did add some little feet from a heart from Dollar Tree. It's a wood little heart. And I just painted it with some pink paint, chalk paint. And I also added a little crystal to my little button on the tip of the hat. And in the back, I took the little ribbon with the pearl on it. And I added a beautiful brooch from Totally Dazzled. When you are crafting and creating, you look at something and you just want to add something different. Nothing wrong with that. That's what it's all about, is having fun. She's holding a cute little glittery piece of greenery right there. See in her hand? So pretty. Oh, I love my shabby gnome. The crystals came from Panda Hall. I will leave those links to a Totally Dazzled, BB Craft, Panda Haul in my description box for you. I hope you enjoyed what I made for you today. Please give this video a big thumbs up. It helps my channel grow. And subscribe. I really love for you to be part of my Crafty Leany World family. Hit that bell. That says all. It'll notify you every time I upload a new video. Visit me on my Instagram, Facebook, I do have Pinterest, and on TikTok. Join me for Lainey Shabby Tuesdays. I post weekly videos. It was my pleasure crafting with you today, lovelies. Hugs, kisses, and fairy dust wishes. Be kind, be kind yourself and others. Stay blessed. I'll see you in my next video.